Looks like it's time to go. What? Hey! What's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Action Toys Machine Robo Series DX Bike Robo! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, as you can see, his name is Bike Robo up top. Here we have Bike Robo on the top, we have Bike Robo on the bottom, Bike Robo on the side, Bike Robo on the other side, Bike Robo on the back of the box. We have your obligatory product shots of Bike Robo. Warning, don't eat anything in this box. That could be very, very bad for you. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the DX Bike Robo. Now, first off, I want to say thank you to the good people at Awaken Studio. Uh, they work hand-in-hand -hand with Action Toys to produce these figures, and they sent me this review sample to take a look at, so thank you very much. Now, if you've been watching my Machine Robo reviews, you already know that I am all in on this line. I am a fan of this line. I've been buying every figure they have put out. So even if they did not send me this review sample, I was going to buy this anyway. So either way, you were going to see me review this toy. So uh, I'm just happy that it was sooner rather than later. So yeah. So here we have a bike robo, aka Psykill. And um, this is basically uh, an upscale of the smaller bike robo with some uh, new tricks thrown in. But yeah, still a very nicely done figure. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. We've got some nice trans clear and plastic right up top here, as well as right up front for the big headlights. Uh, the tires are rubber. Got some big rubber tires going on there. Uh, you can see there's a lot of nice silver on this toy, you even got some chrome down here for the engine block, and it is the typical bike robo cycle paint scheme going on. You got some more silver here, more silver here. Got some gunmetal gray back here for those details. The exhaust pipes. Um, it, it does have die cast in it, so it does have that bit of heft, which is quite nice. Uh, the kickstand you can bring up. He does roll as rolling things should. Of course, if you let him go, it'll just fall over. But hey, you can still vroom vroom. Vroom vroom! You can do all kinds of vroom vrooming. Now, um, unlike the uh, the smaller version of Bike Robo, uh, the kickstand does not come off. This is permanently attached. And you can just raise it up, lower it if you need to, and everything still transforms just fine. So, that you have that. Let's get him situated over here. And for comparison, here he is with Salmore, the third party Psykill. See how they scale with one another. Here he is with the Super Gobot Psykill. Is that precious? Does that count as precious? I'm going to count it as precious. It's pressure. Psykilling pressure. Vroom. And here he is with the original Bike Robo from Action Toys. Just so you can see. Oh, they look together, and as you can see, obviously, uh, much larger. You got that nice silver on the DX version, as opposed to just that dark gray plastic used on the original version. So there you go, vroom! So that is pretty much it for the motorcycle mode. Why don't you want to stand now? You want to be all weird now? I can just move things down a little bit. There we go. There we go. But that is pretty much it for the motorcycle mode. So let's get down to a transformation, shall we? Let's. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to come back here. We're going to split this back section here. And that will release the back wheel. Now how the back wheels work is you can see there's actually a, uh, it's actually a tab right here. That goes into that slot right there. And then that big post goes right in there. So it locks in two separate places there. So hold on nice and securely. So once you have the legs split, well, I'll get started with the legs. So it does help if you bring one leg down and kind of bring it out because that gives you the room that you need to do everything here. So once you do that, you just take this section here, just bring that off to the side enough so you can swing this around. Then this will open up like so. You want to come down here and you just want to flip the foot out so that just comes down like that and then you swing it forward and then all of this 
will come down and that will just lock in. Make sure that the kickstand is out of the way like that. And all that will just tap into place like so. Once you do that, you take this panel here, you bring that down, this little panel right back here that you bring down as well, and you got that done. Now you can just extend the leg, and as you can see, the thigh is off center here, so you just take it and just slide that over like so. And there you have a leg all done, second class, just like the first, well, minus the kickstand anyway. So you just swing all this around, bring out the foot, bring that down, bring it forward, tab all that in, bring that panel down, bring that panel down, bring the leg down, shift that over, this side is really tight, come on, there we go, shift that over, and there you have the legs all done. So moving on up the body here, you just take these panels here and you just bring them forward to complete his crutch. And now we just split all this here. And how this works is you have these tabs that go into these slots right in here. And then again, these will just peg into the hands. So again, they hold on in two separate places. They hold on nice and secure like. So just remove this wheel, put that off to the side. And now you just take the arms and they will come out. If there's a little tab in there, it just tabs into a slot. And you just take these, bring these out on this double hinge like so. Untab that and just bring it out on that double hinge. You take the head, push it down. These panels right here, just fold down like so. And then you bring the shoulders up and they will just clip in right there and lock into place. There we go, like that. Then you just bring the arms down, you just rotate at the bicep, so the elbows are oriented properly. Rotate at the bicep, like so. And if you notice, he has no face right now. He needs a face. Where is his face? Here is his face. Oh no, this is an optional bit of parts forming that you can do if you want to. Totally if you want to. If you don't want to have the visible face in motorcycle mode, you just take this white panel here and pop that in its place. But to remove this, you just push down on the top of his head and that will pop that out. You can just remove that and it just holds on via a magnet. And now we can actually pop on his face like so. And again, that just holds on with that magnet. So... There you go, and the last thing you want to do is just take the wheels and pop them into his shoulders. There are magnets in here, so they just boop right into place. Boop right into place. And there you go, there you have a bike robo, aka Psykill, in his robot mode. And it looks really good. Looks really, really good in my opinion. So let's get in close here. Not on his chest. On oh, that noggin. That's the noggin. You can see a nicely done face sculpt there. You got like orange for the eyes. Or is that yellow? It's a yellowy. It's a yellowy orange. And yeah, it's nice silver there for the face. And you got that nice detail there on the chest, going down the body. Again, lots of that nice silver going on there. His feet, on the back, as you can see, it's a very clean transformation. So, yeah. Now, articulation-wise, uh, the head is, seems like it's on a ball joint. You do get a little bit of downward movement. You do get rotation, but the handlebars... Do limit how far his head can rotate. It's only about that far or so. Like I said, you can look down a little bit. I'm not sure if there's a ball joint in there. I can't really tell. It seems like it is, but there's not a whole lot of range of movement just due to the way his head is shaped. Uh, the arms can do a full 360. They can go in and out. You do have bicep rotation. You do have a double jointed elbow. So you have nice full range of movement there. You do have wrist rotation. You have waist rotation as well as a full ab crunch going on there. Uh, these panels can move out of the way to accommodate the leg movement. Legs can move uh, forward that far. You can do the high kicks back that far. Outward on a ratchet joint can do the full splits. 
you got thigh rotation, you got ratchet and knee joints with over 90 degrees of bend there. So you got a nice range of movement there. Feet can move up, uh, they can't really move down. And you get some ankle tilt and some rotation as well due to transformation. So he is pretty poseable. And if you want to add to his posability, um, he does come with optional articulated hands here. And the hands are pretty easy to swap out. They just pop right out like that. And you just pop in the articulated hands like so. Just pop those in. And now he has articulated hands here. So the thumb can open and close. The fingers can open and close. You do have a separate index finger there as well. So you can give him articulated hands if you want to. And you can use these for motorcycle mode also if you want to, totally up to you. So again, that's you know some optional parts for me you can do. Now, as far as other accessories go, you do get some effects parts here, some blasting effects parts. And these plug into his hands. So if we remove these, come here, come here. You can plug these in like so. And now you can pew pew, bang bang, pew pew, bang bang. Now I never watched Machine Robo, so I don't know if it happened there, but I do know that in the GoBots cartoon, you know, they, they didn't have guns, they just shot lasers straight out of their fists. So that is pretty much what that's emulating there. Um, again, I don't know if that happened in Machine Robo, but it definitely happened in GoBots, so it's pretty cool. You can replicate that there and just have him shooting lasers out of his fist. That's pretty cool. But we'll just, uh, we'll just take these off for now and just pop his hands back on. So, we got that. And now we will continue on. Now, my absolute favorite thing about this figure is you do get some other optional faces. You have no idea how happy I was when I saw this. Oh, oh so happy. So, so happy. But uh, we're going to just pop this face off again. Just push the button on top of his head. And that will just pop the face off. It'll fall into the floor. That's all right. You can stay there. I'll probably never use you again. Because this figure gives you side kill faces. Side kill faces. I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm so happy about this. And we can just pop these in. And now he is side kill. And that is freaking awesome. That is so awesome. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> oh, I love it. But that's not the only one. No, no, no. That's not the only one. You have just the regular serious face side kill. And uh, these faces can be a little harder to get out because there's not really anything to grab onto. Come on. Pop out. Pop. 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 There we go. But that's not the only face you get. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. You get this one as well, which is side kill with a smug grin on his face. He's happy, he's content, he's evil, he's psych kill. Yeah, <laughs> love that. But that's not it, no, 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 that's not it. We're not done, we're not done. We get one more face, one more face. If I can get this out, come on. You also get psych kill, rage face. <laughs> oh, I love it, I love it. So much, so, so much. This alone makes it worth the price for me anyway. I don't care what you think. I love this, I love this so much. <laughs> so you do get the optional side kill faces and I, I love that. You have no idea how much I love that. So, <laughs> there you go. So, so now nobody can get mad at me if I want to call this a GoBot. Now nobody can get mad at me if I want to call him Psykill, even though you shouldn't care anyway because it's my toy. I can call it whatever I want. But now you really can't say nothing because, you know, it looks, looks like Psykill to me. I don't know who it looks like to you, but it looks like Psykill to me. That's Psykill. That's Psykill. But anyway. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. That's, that's, that, yeah. <laughs> like I said, that just, that makes it totally worth the price right there. Just... To actually have the cartoon GoBot Psykill faces. I love it. I love it so much. But anyway, now the last thing that is included with this figure is uh, this little dude 
right here, it's a little, little robot. Um, it's just done in gray plastic. There's no articulation, nothing moves on this. Um, now, I had no idea what this was. I didn't know if this was referencing anything of any kind in GoBots or Machine Robo. I had no idea. So I ended up uh, emailing Lou at Awaken Studios to ask him, what what is this thing? And um, he said that this is not this is not referencing anything. This is literally just a place to store your extra faces and whatnot, so you can just take the extra face and just plug that on there, and it can hold the extra fist. So this is meant as nothing but uh, just some storage for the extra accessories there, although the face keeps popping off. You stay. There you go. So there. It's a thing. It's a thing you can do if you want to do it, or if you want to put a side kill face on there. Go ahead. There you go. Hey! <laughs> That's all this is for. This is just a means of storing the extra accessories. So that, that's all it's for. You can see. It's a little guy. It's a little guy. So there you go. And now for comparison. Here he is with Salmore, the third party side kill. So you can see how they look together. Here he is with the Super GoBots. I killed because it's pressure. So killing pressure. And just so you can get a sense of how he scales here with some uh, transformers. Here he is with Titans Return, Voyager, Megatron. Here he is with Power of the Primes, Leader Prime. Just so you can see how he scales here. So it is basically Voyager sized. Here he is with Toy World's. Hegemon, just because I think these two look really good together. So, there you go. So you got that. And here he is with the previous Bike Robo figure from Action Toys. Just so you can see here the differences between the two. The DX version basically has the same transformation as the original version. There's just some little extra things thrown in here and there. Some extra locking points, some extra panels to flip around. Again, you get that nice silver on this figure, which really makes it pop, which the original version doesn't have. They're both really well done, fun figures. It just really just comes down to what scale do you want here for your Bike Robo, a.k.a. Psykill. So, there you have it. So, there you have Action Toys DX Bike Robo. A very nicely done figure. Another very nicely done figure in this line of Machine Robo figures. You know, like I said at the top of the video, I'm, I'm a fan of this line. I have been thoroughly enjoying this line. I think the figures are very well done. They're very fun. And, and this one is no different. And the Psykill faces. Oh my god, the Psykill faces. You have no idea how happy that makes me that he has Psykill faces. Now, please do Eagle Robo in this scale with a leader one head, and I'm set. I'm set. I can die happy. I can die happy. But yeah, very, very cool. I dig it. So, there you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Machine Robo toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my Machine Robo GoBots playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Action Toys Machine Robo Series a DX Bike Robo, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face! Uh, I I love Turner and Hooch. Tom Hanks at his best. Yeah, yeah, it, it's a good movie. Something wrong? You you seem distracted. Well, I don't know. It's just that every time you come to visit, it just never stops being awkward. Awkward? What do you mean awkward? We're just two guys sitting here enjoying some classic cinema. Yeah, yeah, and that's great and all, but I don't know. It just it feels weird. Like we're not supposed to be in the same room together. Oh, come on now, don't be ridiculous. We're two evil leaders bent on destruction and world domination. We're like two peas in a pod. Yeah, two peas in a pod that are constantly thwarted by the good guy.
guys. Yeah, I hate those good guys. They make me so angry. But hey, look on the bright side. We always have Turner and Hooch to cheer us up. Yeah, Turner and Hooch didn't save your show from getting cancelled.